there's an old saying that the best way to understand someone is to take a walk in their shoes. And with that in mind, the Polinsky Children's Center in San Diego employs former foster kids as mentors. It is an effort that is absolutely San Diego. And I got to meet a young man who has now been involved on both sides. And what do you want to do, do you know? Uh, yes, I want to become a social worker. So you're on the right track. Exactly, exactly. On the right track for 21-year-old Jonathan Barbosa, it's a direction he doesn't take for granted. Thoughts that I thought I really wouldn't be anything in life, that I really wouldn't go far. The youngest of four children, Jonathan says he was physically and emotionally abused by a family member and later by a family friend. He threatened us, threatened myself and my sister, telling us to not say a word, not say anything, or else the same thing will happen to us. Keep in mind, I was 10 years old. I was afraid. I didn't know what to do, so I kept my mouth shut. But Jonathan recalls that another sibling was not so quiet about what was happening. Eventually, by court order, he says they were removed to the safe haven of the Polinsky Children's Center in San Diego. After that, luckily, my grandparents had a big enough heart to take all of us in. While safe with his grandparents, Jonathan had a lingering anger and despair inside him. I grew up hating the world. I grew up hating everything. But positive forces were at work. Along with his grandparents, social workers remained involved, including a man named Angel, who was part of the Promises to Kids program at the Polinsky Center, providing mentors who had been foster kids themselves. He was essentially like a brother to me. He, he was the one who pushed me through high school. He was the one who motivated me to get my diploma. Now, Jonathan is in college and on the other side of that relationship, serving as a mentor to others. My goal is to show them that I can be their friend, show them that I could be that, you know, shoulder they can lean on and to be that person that will essentially give them that extra push because I believe that they can achieve anything. There's hope. You know, there's, there's hope to, to anything. It's hope to everything. You know, just don't give up. Yeah, absolutely. Now, Jonathan says he presently keeps in touch with seven foster youth about twice a month, helping them realize their potential. Meanwhile, he's continuing his own studies as he prepares to transfer to SDSU to pursue his goal of becoming a counselor. And if you have a story that is positively San Diego, we'd love to hear it.